Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Johnny's fight. Alhamdulillah, Rabbi Alameen. Hasbunallah wa neem al wakil. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? And ye though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you art with me. Thy rod and staff, they comfort me. Thou prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. And surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Assalamu alaikum. It's Monday. Welcome to Johnny's Bite. And as we journey through the Lent and also through Ramadan, we pray for strength. But also importantly, we use that strength to pray for Ghana because Ghana needs and deserves it. Over the weekend, I'm told that Women at Glow had their event and they also were praying for Ghana. So we're working together. Now, last uh, Saturday, I had the opportunity again to go to the graduate school at the Ghana Institute of, uh, Institute of Journalism. Uh, now the media University of Media Arts and Communication and I want to say thank you to the Dean of the Graduate School Dr. Um, Asamoah Dr. Asamoah today yesterday also was his birthday happy birthday to Dr. Asamoah and also to uh, Nana Bimba and also to Dr. Odum for giving me the opportunity it was a sort of Jen put a picture up there students and uh, uh, with me interacting up there the uh, Unimark IJ yeah Yes, fantastic. So, so that's it. Um, yeah, sometimes we spend a bit of our time in the classroom as well. And you know that over the weekend towards the Gobe Festival. So while we were at the Gobe Festival, we left, we went to go and teach, and then we came back. And uh, so it, it's, it's just like that. That's, that's how we are also trying to give back a bit of what we have to uh, society. Today also, in line with uh, preaching positive news only, um, I'm happy to report that we're told that we won what, 40 medals at the arm wrestling. Yeah? Ghana wins 40 medals at the arm wrestling. And the photo was beautifully taken by Kwesi Ako. Kwesi Ako is one of my friends on Facebook. And uh, he took that photograph, which was uh, also used by three sports. But we have 40 arm wrestling medals right there. And uh, it's, it's, it's uh, interesting and good to know that indeed we have uh, all these laurels coming in. This is all that Ghanaians were looking for, not to host and lose, but we we're hoping to host, host and win, and win big and win well. Um, the initial complaints, I'm sure that the official dom has woken up to the coffee. Uh, the smell of the coffee stopped uh, explaining stuff and are now working, actually. Uh, a few concerns, though, from, from there. Right. You want to show me that uh, uh, electric extension board Yes, and uh, Gideon Tete is also a friend on Facebook. He says, these are the power extension cords the government purchased for the LOC to use for the event in Ghana. The Africa Games, this thing. That's what he put up there. Uh, Gideon Tete put that up there on Facebook. And you are asking, you ask yourself, for example, that how were they going to use these things? Uh, was it really, was the intention really to go and compete and win? Or was the intention about procurement? And who procured these things, knowing full well that in Ghana, these things are not the commonest that you can find. So who did this? Gideon Tete. He says, these are the power extension cords the government purchased for the LOC to use for the event in Ghana. Just pay attention and look at it. How are they going to use it? Because the average service provider that we have here in Ghana, and even, in fact, the biggest, they don't have these plugs in, 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 the, in, in the quantum that you would expect. Then there's another one about a printer. Now, the printer is, um, you know, the government says the government gave the LOC this printer for the event. Well, the writing is in Chinese, and there's a pin we are not able to bypass. Mm. <clears throat> the government gave the LOC this printer for the event. Well, the printing is in Chinese, and there is a pin we are not able to bypass. The thing is sitting down looking at us and smiling. Hey, Africa Games, this thing. Now, it says, if you know how to manually reset this kind of HP printer, kindly help me. Why? And this is it. They are supposed to be providing some service, but there's a language block. There's a language block. So the question again is, who procured these things? And after the games has been said and done, will we be told not to focus on how some of these things happened? Or will we, will we just be told to um, preach ne positive news? 
because the gentleman clearly went there to work and to deliver excellently as he always does. Now he gets there, this impediment and the other impediment of the extension board is put in his way. If he complains about it, they'll say he's speaking negatively. If he complains about it, they'll say he's speaking negatively. And that is how we have run our country. Give me the release from the ECG. Electricity Company of Ghana. You know that we have Doomnet. The internet is coming back, but nobody is really explaining to us the kinds of things that some of the experts are talking about, and I'll get to it in a bit. But this was on the Sunday, the 18th, uh, 17th of March, 2024. It says, vending challenge due to disruptions in internet connectivity. The electricity company of Ghana wishes to inform our cherished customers and the general public that the current interruptions in internet service provision have resulted in challenges uh, with regarding, regarding the vending and purchasing of electricity credit. ECG wishes to assure all customers that we are engaging our service providers and metering vendors to assist resolve um, the challenge. We wish to apologize for the inconvenience caused and assure our cherished customers of our continued efforts in providing them with reliable service. ECG, the name behind electricity in Ghana, and that's uh, we put our website and everything at there. And just nice. yesterday, I posted on Facebook that look, look. My lights have stayed on for two days without going off. Hip, 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 hooray. Positive news only. Then yesterday in the evening, my lights went off. Now, ECG is telling us that they wish to put it up, put a notice up there. He said they wish to assure customers that they are engaging the service providers and metering vendors to assist resolve the challenge. You see, we've been told about digitalization and digitization over and over again. But then without the hardware, the software is almost useless. So ECG, this uh, you know, service provision that is giving to the people, uh, ECG app, go to the uh, vending point, go and buy, it's all hinged on the internet. Now there's no internet connectivity. They say they are engaging the service providers and metering vendors to assist resolve the challenge. And I ask each ECG, how? What does this mean? This could mean that you may not be able to buy credit if you already don't have some. Johnny's bite. What does this also mean? This could mean that a lot more people will be tempted to do illegal connection. What this means is that we may also be the ones to pay for those illegal connections that will be done. Because the ECG will obviously go to the PURC and tell them that the cost of doing business has gone up, the cost of uh, distributing the power has gone up, da, 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 da. so the, the losses that they are making put together, all those things, then they say, oh, push the tariff up a bit for us. You see how vulnerable we are as a country and as a people. That's how vulnerable, because the ECG says they are engaging to resolve the issue. And I say, how are you resolving? Because even on a normal day when Mami Water has not chewed the undersea cables, when you go to buy ECG, now, I, I take you back. Thank you, Jane. Let's take, let me do a throwback. Sunday, 17th March, 2019. It's a good throwback. Look at it. Johnny's right. Power Distribution Services, Ghana. Outages due to rainstorm. PDS wishes to inform its cherished customers and the general public that the massive rainstorm that hit Accra and other parts of the country today, the 17th of March, 2019. Note, same Sunday, same 17th, same March. Only thing that changed is the year, 2024, 2019. Has uprooted trees and brought down billboards on our distribution conducted, causing interruptions in our distribution system, leading to outages. Affected customers should know that our engineers are working assiduously to rectify the fault and restore power supply. They can also reach us on 0302 You pay for that call, by the way. It's not a toll-free number. The inconvenience caused due to this natural occurrence is very much regretted. PDS here to serve. We have not even finished the PDS conversation where that PDS money went to and who it went to. Nobody is behind bars if they did anything wrong. Johnny's right. But what I'm saying is that this disruption of the internet and the insistence that we should use prepaid meters and the challenges that vendors and customers would have and the fact that ECG says they are going to resolve them, I'm telling you that it may result in a lot of illegal connections. And the illegal connections, for those of us who are not engaged in it, we will be forced to pay 
because the system itself was not sacrosanct. And that's how vulnerable we are in this country. Put up Mr. Uh, Mr. Simon's uh, post for me. And somebody clearly is not explaining something. He said, he's asking a very, very important question. He says, I read a statement of Ghana's telecom regulator, the NCA, providing a time frame of, put the thing up, please, of a minimum of five weeks for the internet cables to return to normal. It does not explain why Ghana's connectivity level is now the lowest in the region, even lower than Ivory Coast, the worst impacted. And guess what? Ivory Coast has been able to restore their internet. Is that correct? Ivory Coast, they've restored their internet. We are still doing Matrai Makwe, and we are now being told that we will have five weeks when the machines or who, what, who have the engineers get there, and from, from that day, we can count five weeks ahead. And people are losing their jobs. People who are doing remote jobs are losing their jobs. Johnny's vice. People are being sacked. Because the white man does not understand why in this 21st century, you still come and tell him that and the e some email is hanging somewhere. They don't believe it. Because once they pay you, they want you to deliver. They don't have time for the excuses. Once they pay you, they want you to deliver. So people's lives are on the jobs, and we think that sometimes it's just the vibes and the, and the inshallah and the things that we say that will solve the issues. Look, look at this, for example. It's talking about meetings that are being held, and I'm interested in paragraph five. It says, based on the above, the subsea cable handling service providers have indicated an estimated time frame of a minimum of five weeks for full service restoration from the time the vessels are dispatched to the various locations. From the time the vessels are dispatched to the various five weeks. So you have to grapple with it. And then you ask the question, what is our country's plan B? If Mami Watai wakes up tomorrow and decides to chew the undersea cable again, and I'm using Mami Watai figuratively, what will be vibe. our plan B? Do we have a plan B? Because every morning when we wake up, digitalization, digitization, digitalization, digitization, the infrastructure, the hardware, how have we secured it? What is our plan B for the hardware so that the software can stand? Because if I buy you a brand new phone and somebody comes to install, say, what's up on it, who do you applaud? Do you applaud the person who bought you the phone or the person who came to install the software on it, their the WhatsApp, and told you how to use it? Or do you applaud both of them? Because all along, the conversation has been skewed towards who has been installing WhatsApp on our phones, which was bought by somebody else. Now we realize that you actually need to applaud both the person who bought the phone and the person who came to show you that you can install WhatsApp on it and use it for A, B, C, and D. But that has always been a challenge in this country. We never give credit to those who came before because we are always thinking of the next election. Digital Messiah, digital decisions are that. Internet, Mami Water choose cable small. Look at how we are embarrassing ourselves. You can't make calls, bank transfers, all those services kaput. And people are losing their jobs because there are people here who are working for multinational companies out there and they need the internet. When I was like, Pope, we started a conversation that somebody, a private contractor, could get some people onto a very secured stuff and they can do things. And he already, as of yesterday, he said he has over 100 messages. People want to work. It's all about talking down at the people, it's about showing working and showing the scorecard. What's our plan B? Really, what's our plan B as we stand now? What's our plan B? There are young entrepreneurs who only transact their business online. The Uber, Yango, uh, Taxify, Shaxi, all those people, they transact their business online. If there's no internet, it means there's no food for them. We see how vulnerable we are. Maybe this is a wake-up call. It is a good wake-up call. Now, I told you earlier about a gentleman at ICOR. And I told you how he appeared before the Public Accounts Committee. Dr. Legebam is his name. 
as we speak, he's officially on retirement. Because even the three months, put the letter up, because even the three months, um, what do you call it, contract extension that he was, he was given by the ministry expired on the 7th of March, 2024. Put the letter up, please, for me. 2024. And I told you last week that he was going to write a letter like this, right, to deal with some people. I told you last week. And I can also tell you confidently that he is coming to Accra to come and hold the legs of their Greek minister, Mr. Brian Champol, together with the regional minister. And I will play a video for you where he told the people in the meeting that he can question the minister. Today, he's coming down to beg. Is it true? I told you. Now, this is the memo. Farmer Services Manager and Business Development and Support Services Manager. That's addressed to him. This is from the managing director. Who ceases to exist, though? Because his contract has ended. The contract extension he was looking for is non-existent. So he is there illegally, but he is signing official stuff. <clears throat> Dated the 14th of March, 2024. If we were in a serious country, he wouldn't be doing this. But he knows we don't live in a serious country, and the whole country is a crime scene. Staff misconduct. You are hereby instructed to release the underlisted staff under your department of their, of their duties with immediate effect. He, who has no locus at this time, in the scheme of things, because ideally salary has stopped coming in, he doesn't have any locus. He is asking that people who have locus be relieved of their duties with immediate effect and supervise their handing over of company's property to you and report same by the 19th of March 2024. That is uh, tomorrow. This is to pave way for the board to take a decision. Please take this seriously and comply. Who is Ali Jibril? And these are, all of them, they are supposed to be union staff, right? Union executive. <clears throat> they are supposed to be union executive. Ali Jibril is the union chairman. Augustine Zuga is the secretary. And on and on and on. There's even an engineer there. Then he says, thank you, Dr. Benedict Bonaventure, Ali Gibam, managing director. He's signing the letter that he is not supposed to sign. Jen, put, bring the other one, the, the one Brandon Champon wrote. I told you that this was going to happen. Because we, we gathered the data, we gathered the information before we put it out there. He's coming, they're coming to Accra to come and beg for contract extension, but they will be the ones telling young people that there are no jobs. Now, this is dated the 2nd of February, 2024. Recommendation and extension of retirement, 7th December, blah, 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 2023. Dr. Bonaventure Aligiban, we acknowledge your letter dated so, so, and so, uh, 30th of June on the above subject matter too. Unfortunately, we are unable to grant the board's request for a two-year post-retirement extension for the MD's contract. The same board that he said is going to sit with so they can take a decision to, to sack some people. On the strength of the above and ensure, to ensure seamless transition, a three-month post-retirement contract is being granted Dr. Ben Bonaventure, uh, Benedict Bonaventure Aligibam with effect from 7 December 2023. Now do the calculation, three months from 7 December 2023. While steps are taken to look for a suitable replacement, you are respectfully therefore being requested to convey the decision to Dr. Bonaventure Aligibam accordingly. Please accept assurances of my highest consideration. Brian A. Champ on PhD MP. It's addressed to all the people. Now give me the HRS letter. Johnny's bite. The human resource manager. It says compulsory retirement dated the 19th of January 2024. Addressed to Dr. Aligibam. It says we write regarding the aforementioned subject, which takes effect retrospectively from the 7th of December 2023. As per available records, you reach the age of 60 on the specified date, meeting the criteria for permanent retirement from active service in accordance with both the company's policy and Ghanaian law. We acknowledge your commitment and service to ICO Limited and extend our heartfelt appreciation. Your efforts have significantly contributed to the success and advancement of ICO. Please ensure the return of all company-owned properties currently in your possession 
before proceeding, as you step into this new phase of the year of your life, we send you um, our best wishes for good health, happiness, and success in your future endeavors. Thank you, Agatha Kurugu, Human Resource Admin Manager. Now, this gentleman's Dr. Aligibam's salary has stopped coming in from the Control Accountant General. So you ask yourself, how is he feeding? Bring the first letter where he's sucking people. Just put it up there. Don't show my face. Just leave it. You ask yourself, how is he feeding? Is he feeding off the internally generated funds of the company? And how well is ICO doing? And is it not the same government that said that we will not give contract extension to people who have gone past 60 unless we can't find their expertise anywhere else? Is it not the same government that pushed out Mr. Domelovu even before the man said he turned 60? Now, old people are running to Accra to come and beg to be given contract extension. And they are even sacking, they are threatening to literally sack people. Adam Jibril. Augustine Zuga, Doris Ada, Rauf Guma Al Hassan, Alice Campo, and Sebastian Achibes. They're sacking them. They want to sack them. This, this, I told you last week that this was going to happen. And they are so predictable, I can tell you. When I sit in my small corner, they are so predictable. Put Dr. Ligibam's video up for me. Johnny's right. And many other people have suffered this. Adams, we're not here for rhetoric. Okay. We're not here for it. If we want to start, we'll start from another end. When the day comes, we'll start. Okay. But I'm saying that management gave an invitation letter to Sebastian Achebase as a staff yes. of IPO. If Sebastian Achebase felt that he needs to come here with people, it will be communicated to management. To be considered, not to be considered. We cannot have this intrusion into this meeting. So please leave. I think Sebastian no. came into the Sebastian yeah, on the own gentleman own feels people. threatened. Yes, he, I don't think this he feels threatened. Exactly. He feels threatened. He he feel 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 no, he said so. Hold on. That's why he, he said so. He failed. No, Hold on. He's not going to say here. He can talk for himself. So, Andy. Adams, stop using words you cannot substantiate. He said it. He heard it from him. It is not It is not anybody's words. If he feels threatened, yes. let him sit here alone and say it. Why do you want him alone? What are you about? Wait, wait, wait. What are you about? You want to talk. Management invited me for this meeting, and I felt I'm not safe coming here alone. Um, I invited the junior to accompany me. Yes. You're not safe yes. coming here. Yes. yes. Alone. Good. Alone. Alone. Yes. Now you're communicating this words. Once you're not safe in the premises of I, money will take it. No, he didn't say that. Don't misquote him. This he didn't is say so. This management meeting. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Yes. You're not my colleague. No, I'm not your colleague. Ah. But the truth is that you. Let me even let's even raise this issue. Now that you are saying that he should he should have come alone. The fact is that per the documents we have, you are not even supposed to be in this meeting. Oh. You are you are retirement. You are on retirement. Yes. Okay, that is the fact. Okay, sir. Yes. yes. You are my employer. I'm not your employer, but your employer okay. has given you a letter that <laughs> you should be on retirement. Can you produce that letter here? Go oh, again. I have that letter here. Produce it. Go I will produce it like the way you have refused to produce the one they have given you the contract extension. I'm not going to produce I'm it. I refuse to produce to who? To who? Whosoever you are supposed to produce to. To who? I don't oh, know. Your employment letter your was employment delivered letter to the office. Your, it was it's delivered it's to ICO. Document. That it's one is not delivered to ICO. You know what? Yes. You have no capacity. You're not in any position to question my status. In this ICO place. has capacity. ICO has the capacity. Your employment letter was delivered yeah. here. You are ICO. We are not. We are. <laughs> as, as so ICO is the now you. Is the, is <laughs> for the welfare of the people. No, I mean, please, we, please, excuses. Let's do please, please. No, it's because, no, look, look MD, like he's saying, if we're you were moving. to accept your retirement, we have people we have equally capable, yes. qualified, who can take, who can take <laughs> up this position. He is there. Embrace, My is there. Embrace your retirement and leave. That's all. Okay, sir. Huh? Okay, sir. You have to be very careful the comments you pass. Uh, that's, that's why, very, that's very why very I'm very careful. That's why right. we think that this thing, this when you were in active service, you were doing these things to us. Yes. Everybody has suffered in so your hands. To you. 
All of us we all here, suffered in we your all hands. Suffered it under your hands. Many people have suffered in your hands. Now you are on retirement. You still you want us to be suffering like that? People. What is that? You still want us to be suffering like that? Adams. It's not done anywhere. Adams. 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 I am well aware yes. that most of you are looking for my back. Nobody is looking for your back. Nobody is looking for your back. Why not look? Why should we look for your back for what? Let me tell you. Yes. I know and I saw missing his past of course. I'm not saying anything. I'm saying that in what capacity do you, are you standing, to question my employer's status? Step, look. Yeah. But are you no, also questioning the, 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 minister, the agreed minister? The second minister letter was the agreed minister. You are questioning his capacity. His capacity? Oh. The agreed minister. minister. Yes. 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 You yeah. think the agreed minister is not lack capacity to write to you? Adams, Adams, you know what? Yes. You cannot question me on that. But you can question a great minister. Why? I can question. You can question a great minister. I can question. You can question a great minister. Why he wow. has you? And you think no, we cannot you question you? you? Why you think he should think you should go and retire? Let me tell you. Let me tell you something. Oh no, he said he can question a great minister. We are seven. We are seven. We are all seven Madagans. But nobody can question him. Why he is there? God bless our motherhood. We will resist this oppressor's rule. That is it. You need to, you have the capacity to question the agreed minister, saying that I employ you. Your employment passed through the agreed minister. And help you, us to resist, resist your oppressors with all our will. And my forevermore. It will happen. And help and us to resist your oppressors with all our will. And my forevermore. And help us to resist the oppressors. And my forever more. Not today, not And help us to resist the oppressors with all our will. And my forever more. That doesn't suck me from my Oh, we are not sucking. We lack. We don't have the capacity to lack to to suck from our will. Beautiful one. You heard him. Mr. Brian Echampo. He says he can question you. You see the pomposity I was, I've been talking about. He's on retirement. He's refusing to go. And he's sacking people and he's telling. His posture says it. This is the kind of a sense of entitlement. A silly sense of entitlement. Forgive my French this morning. That we have. That is not supposed to pertain. So what are the young people supposed to learn? That when it's time for retirement, you won't go home to play with your grandchildren. You would rather stay and frustrate young people and burn out their energies for nothing. I've told you that they are coming to Accra to come and beg. But I've played also for Mr. Brian Champo and his people in his office to know that the man says he can question him. So when he comes to beg, he should ask him that, was, were you really questioning my authority? Because Mr. Brandon Champon works with the president. And ICOR is an agency under the Greek ministry that Mr. Champon supervises. And Mr. Champon is supposed to do what the president is asking. And the man is asking questions. He has retired. He had no capacity being in that meeting by the law. By the letter that I read for you, for, from, to you by, from Brandon Champon. But he constituted a meeting to, to push a disciplinary action against somebody, the union chairman. The union chairman says, I feel threatened. So they brought people along. And you saw what transpired in the meeting. Evidence, no lie. We, we have the evidence when we say we have on Johnny's bite. We have the scorecard when we say we have. We'll leave it here. Tomorrow, we'll continue. Have a good morning.